Well, it's another beautiful day here on the streets of Abuja, but nothing makes any day more beautiful than when I am out here on the streets of Abuja to get hot opinions and uh, to sample the opinions of Nigerians on several issues. My name is Gloria and my topic for today is what would be your reaction if your wife or your girlfriend or your partner comes to tell you that they cheated on you. I mean, they come to confess to you that they cheated on you. Sit back and relax as I get hot views from the Nigerian people. Stay tuned. Actually, it's very, very confusing. Because, one, you feel hot. But sometimes you just can't do anything because he came to be open to you. So I think you should just forgive him. So if I will stomach it, but I will discipline her. Though, though I wouldn't divorce her, but I will dis discipline her in my own, in my own decision. Mm. My question will be, what makes you to cheat? What's your reason? Is it that I'm not satisfying you? Is it financially or romantically? What is the reason? What is my weak point that prompted the cheating? If she can't give me that, when I will get out of hand. But if she can give me a cognate reason, and I look, I'm, I look at the reason that is true. I will, I won't take it for cheating, but she would have confronted me first with those her excuses, and see if we can amend it before going on to cheat. Well, if your wife confronts you and tells you that you have cheated on you, there must be reason that makes you to do that. So the question you have to ask yourself: How many times have she done that before telling you? And also, what was the action that led for that cheating? Maybe she don't want you to know or to find out somewhere else. And that's why she confronted you. You will not do anything, but um, it's a very big question. You can't divorce her. But for she be telling you that uh, she cheated on you, she needs to be disciplined for that. It's, that's a difficult thing to do. But if she comes to me and confesses that she has cheated on me, um, as a man, anyway, I was supposed to, I was supposed to get angry. You get, but since she has um, taken it upon herself to, you know, to come and confess, there's no problem with that. She confessed. I have to send her to her papa house now. <laughs> yes, now I have to send her to her papa house. You get, but anyway, that was like eight point agenda. It don't happen. It don't happen. If I'm, if as in, if I'm still going to accept her as my wife, fine. That's. That's my own problem. But if I'm not going to accept her based on my background and my, and my, and my culture. It's still Gloria and I'm still out here on the streets of Abuja. I've gotten a lot of hot views and opinions from Nigerians on what they think. And I've gotten to really know a lot about being in a relationship. It is not a day's job, oh, actually. So, well, I've learned a lot. Forgiveness is the key and all that. So thank you so much for joining me on Street Hangout here on Clairview Television. Until I come your way next time, I remain Gloria Atta. Keep watching Clairview TV. Peace.